I'm proud to um, welcome the Honorable Chief Guest for today's inauguration, Mr. Kamal Nath, our Honorable Minister for Urban Development, Government of India. I'm pleased to welcome Mr. Atul Punj, Managing Direct, um, sorry, Chairman Punj Lloyd Group, our principal sponsor. Mr. Alex Guruvilla, Managing Director, Condé Nast India. Conde Nast is our associate. Mr. Chandrasekhar Banerjee, Director General, CII. Thank you all for coming from very far. Our speakers, we have 50 of them here. I welcome you all. Many of them have come from across several continents, traveling all the way just for two days to be here with us at IDF 2012, The Power of Design. IDF was conceptualized as a catalyst to promote innovative design thinking and to create a high level of consciousness for the power of design. The idea was in my head for almost a decade and it took me a while to commit the time to create this platform. IDF is about how we think about design in India. Design is democratic, design is functional, design is effective, design is aesthetic, design is not elitist. From the everyday cooking utensils in India, the simple stainless steel um, vessels that you see in the villages and in very affluent homes, that is a testimony to what timeless, classic, effective design is all about. I have been, over the last couple of months, trying to explain what the IDF is when I visited many corporates and they simply looked at me and said, ah, oh, well, design is about fashion, design is about luxury, so why are you doing something so elitist? And I had a very difficult time trying to define that design is all pervasive. But importantly, IDF is about a paradigm shift in the way we perceive, conceive, and think about design. India is one of the largest consumers of design. The auto sector, the, um, the real estate business, infrastructure, IT, and of course, fashion and luxury. I'm very, very pleased now to call upon Mr. Atul Punch. Uh, Mr. Punj has been a strong supporter of IDF uh, right from the very start when I went to see him. It took him exactly five minutes to understand what um, IDF was attempting to do. And um, as uh, Punj Lloyd is a very large investor globally in infrastructure, it, I am very privileged to have a sponsor that understands um, the power of design. May I now request Mr. Atul Punch, to say a few words, please. Thanks, Ashri. Um, it's a pleasure and privilege to be here uh, today. And I think um, uh, the idea that Rajshri has been nurturing now, as she said, for a decade, uh, its time is long overdue. And I'm glad that she's had the courage, the conviction to really commit her time, resources uh, to promoting this whole concept. In India, unfortunately, I think the quality of urban design, uh, and I'm glad our Honorable Minister is here today, seriously needs some uplifting, and that is really where our group's interest came in. It pains me when I drive from the international airport in Delhi uh, to see a world-class highway, but on top of it, we have a pedestrian overbridge, which is a 1930s railway overbridge design. Uh, that itself is a, a typical example of how much we really need to lift the whole design concept. Uh, I believe that with the minister's commitment and presence over here today, uh, we should start seeing a major change in the quality of urban design that we have. Uh, I don't want to say too much else um, other than saying that I think, Rajshri, we wish you all the best. Uh, it's been a huge um, uh, effort from your side, and we wish the whole um, uh, forum 
the very best. Thank you. I, no, I now request uh, Mr. Alex Kuruvilla, Managing Director, Condé Nast India. Honorable Minister and dear friends, we at Condé Nast are delighted to be associated with the IDF, which coincides with the launch of our fourth title, the World's Design Bible AD Architectural Digest. It's hard to believe it's been just five years since we launched Vogue. Since then, we've rapidly rolled out GQ, Condonats Traveler, our digital business, and now AD. And we have several more titles in the pipeline. We're no longer just a magazine company. In fact, we are platform agnostic with websites, tablet and mobile apps, social media, mobile value-added services, events, and licensing. And our circles of influence have naturally extended from fashion, lifestyle, and luxury to film, art, literature, but most importantly to design. And design is in fact the intersection of all our brands. We truly understand and believe in the power of design. It is this conviction that has led us to decide that this is the time for AD. India has always been strong in its history and sensibility of design and architecture. But the past is just not enough. The narrative has to change and be set squarely in the present. And the time is ripe for a renaissance of sorts in the contemporary practice of the craft. AD hopes to encapsulate this fascinating journey. AD will reflect as much as it leads. It will record the contemporary journey of design in India and will take as much of India to the world as it will bring the best of the world to India. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the forum. May I now request the Director General of CII, Chandrajit Banerjee, to say a few words. Um, CII is our institutional partner, and they've been uh, very supportive of uh, uh, lending a hand whenever we needed it. Thank you so much, and a uh, very good morning to each one of you present here. The Honorable Minister, Mr. Kamal Nath, and distinguished uh, panelists, and I heard that there are over 50 speakers already present here for this, uh, for this uh, very important and significant conference, and I would like to really congratulate for, uh, you for launching this India Design Forum. And it's, it's a great, indeed a great pleasure with, uh, for CII to be associated with this in a strongly globalizing economy Design is perceived as a new engine of economic uh, and industrial growth. And uh, in this context, I must say that uh, in CII and in the, uh, from, from behalf of the Indian industry, design has been one of the most important, uh, important areas and focus areas of our work, which really starts from the large industries straight down to the small and medium enterprises. And it's, it's important from the point of view of where India's competitiveness really comes from. We are seeing several new designs which has come up even at the grassroots levels which has made a significant impact and in, in brand India and also in terms of really take, uh, in terms of uh, making design so very important from the industry point of view. Examples of which you are all aware of, things like the Tata Nano or the low cost ECG equipment from the GE, the Chotukul from the Godrich, the refrigerator which has been so well talked about, the Jaipur Foot, which is today an international, uh, an international example of low cost yet uh, a high quality surgery like the low cost cataract treatment and many more. But unfortunately, these are really not enough and we need to strive much more to solve the grassroots level problems. Nurturing and sustaining design-led innovation has to become a priority if we have to find a place for India as an innovation-led knowledge economy in the coming days. And I must also talk about uh, a little bit about the design education, which is becoming such an important aspect of this revolution that one is seeing in the design, uh, in, in the design sphere. And in this, uh, I must compliment institutions like NID, and I think they are also participating here, and several other educational institutions, which has actually been able to take forward this very important facet of designs in the industry ahead. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I really wish you all the best for, uh, in terms of enjoying these two days of the India.
India Design Forum and really uh, looking forward to working together with you. Thank you. Now I request our Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Kamal Nath, Honorable Minister for Urban Development. Rajshri Pati, Mr. Atul Poonj, Mr. Alex Kuruvila, Chandrajit Banerjee, <coughs> distinguished participants in this forum. It is a pleasure to be in your midst this morning. And as India moves on, moves up on the development cycle, design has, is gaining and has, is growing uh, in importance and becoming an important factor towards ensuring better living conditions for people in urban and in rural areas. I am happy to see that uh, the design fraternity has so much of enthusiasm and has brought together this great event. India has a very young age profile. And uh, this young age profile uh, creates a sense of design awareness as never before. Uh, similarly in India, we have growing disposable incomes now in rural India. Design is not urban centric. And as India is moving on with a young population and with growing disposable incomes in rural India, we are seeing greater and greater design consciousness in India. On the other hand, we are living in an area of great changes in the global economy. Uh, great transformation. And in this, um, we are seeing design innovation is preeminent in this transformation. We need to take a proactive and a systemic view towards design and respond with strategies to harness the innovation potential of our country and our industry. India has already unleashed its abilities, its entrepreneurial abilities its intellectual abilities. We see India recognized for its skills in IT and in many other areas. Here again, we need, in this area of design, India needs to unleash its creative abilities, its creative potential. India has been known all along for its creativity. And uh, harness this, harnessing this and focusing this towards design is now uh, the need, and I think the time has come. In today's global marketplace, business can no longer compete on price and functionality. That's the most important thing which has happened. You see so many products, you see the iPhone, or you see so many others. At the heart of it may lie technology, but at the heart of it also lies design. How does it fit in your pocket? How does it feel? What are the aesthetics of it? Uh, so many of the new products hitting the market, even a washing machine, what does it look like? All washing machines wash clothes. Uh, they may have different functions. But again, design plays a very important role. And because of this, design is at the heart of competition and bringing together considerations of form, function, aesthetics, culture, engineering, and lifestyle uh, the design process can help in solving problems and also creating new values and markets. Um, design or designing is no longer considered as a cost anymore. In fact, design is an investment which can yield long-term results and create substantial revenues and substantial earnings. If there's a good product designed in the first stage, from a design point of view, uh, its next model and its next model, people relate to that design. So design becomes an investment. It becomes an investment in the long term. And in India, this, as I said, is growing more and more important. Atul mentioned about urban India. Well, India is urbanizing at a brisk pace with a young population which is more mobile. A young population is much more mobile than an older population. And we find today that the urban sector in India contributes 60% of GDP, which will go up to 70% of GDP in the next de decade. It also means that 70% of new jobs 
which will be created in the next decade will be in our urban areas. Urban areas does not mean the mega cities. Urban area means the smaller cities, the tier two, tier three, tier four cities. Um, and the challenges of urbanization in India are unprecedented. In fact, it's more than any other country in the world. If we compare with China, in China they can prevent urbanization. In India, we have free movement. We can't prevent urbanization. So the challenges in India are unprecedented in both in scale and in significance. In the last decade, our population, our urban population, has increased from 285 million in 2001 to 400 million last year, that is 211, and by about 2025, or between 2025 and 2030, our urban population is likely to go up to 600 million. Now, India has close to 55 cities with a population of a million and above. And this number is expected to go beyond 19, go beyond 70 by the year 2025 or the year 2030. That means we'll have more cities of a million plus than the whole of Europe. So that is the huge challenge which we have in urbanization today. And in order to ensure competitiveness of our cities and ensure basic services to our citizens, urgent steps are required to harness the opportunity that the scale of urbanization presents and to avoid urban decay. We are seeing that we have huge urban decay. It's just not only a challenge of urbanization. How do we have properly designed suburbanization? We've had suburbanization by default, not by design. So how do we look at twin cities from a design point of view? Because unless twin cities and suburbs are designed properly, they are not going to be magnets. They're not going to attract people to move to suburbs and twin cities. So here again, design plays a very important part, not only in the development of suburbs and twin cities, but in the redevelopment of our cities. And I see a great innovative role to solve some of the basic and perennial problems which we have like sanitation, transport, water, common public facilities. Now, even when we look at transportation, urban transport, Atul mentioned the metro. Yes, some of our metros uh, have not been, uh, the stations have not been properly designed. We are looking at it. But what are the challenges we had before us? In India, growth has preceded infrastructure. With growth preceding infrastructure, we have a huge infrastructure deficit. And when we build today, we are not building for the future. We are catching up with the past. So when we talk of the metro, today we are in phase three. When we complete phase four, we would have built, we'll be launching phase four. We would have built 440 kilometers of metro just in Delhi, which is larger than the London underground. So Delhi is going to have an underground, a metro which is be larger than the London underground. Now here it's again catching up with the past, solving a problem of congestion, of city congestion. And in this, in our phase three and phase four, we are ensuring that design, how do we design our stations? How do we design the workshops of the metros? Um, what is the kind of design the station should have? Should they have a mall above? Should they have office complexes above? What is the kind of a well-designed metro station? What is a well-designed metro station with an office complex? So that in our transport corridors, in our transit corridors, people don't have to move. But we don't want to move vehicles. We want to move people. So we want to move people. The less the people move, the better it is. So we are looking at a transit system. Um, we are looking at FAR and FSI issues based on our transit system. So that when you get off a metro, you can go to your mall, you can go to your cinema, you can go to your office. All there. You don't have to move around in the cities. Here again, the challenge is design. What is the design which is going to attract the best of offices? 
What are the designs which is going to attract the best of malls? What are the, the best of designs which is going to attract the people to these um, built-in facilities in a railway station? And I think in India, because of the enormity of what lies in front of us, there is a massive capacity building exercise needed for design, uh, design preventions and their role in ensuring a habitable, sustainable, and energy efficient urbanized India. Uh, I remember uh, <coughs> the NID, the National Institute of Design, in 2005, I created a national design policy uh, when I was Minister of Commerce and Industry. And uh, when I visited the NID, we made a phased program for its expansion. And I'm very proud that it has now reached fruition and the NID has gained a preeminent place in our institutions of India. Um, so with this capacity building of design professionals which is needed and their involvement in planning and development strategies, uh, it is important we do capacity building in this. We are in the process of reviewing our master plan in Delhi and I would like to see design professionals involved in this in a meaningful matter, in a meaningful manner. I would like you to collaborate with uh, my ministry in developing models for affordable housing. How do we have well-designed affordable housing for the, most, for the poor, for the economically weaker section? I went to see a model the other day. Three weeks ago, I went to see a model of economically weaker sections. And I definitely thought it can be designed better. Um, so what is the best model in Delhi if you're not going to be building at least uh, 100,000 uh, houses per year for the economically weaker sections? We will not be able to get out of the slum psych which we've got into. Uh, the existing slums and the, the new slums which are going to come, uh, going to come in, in, in the future. Uh, increased influx of people to urban centers, growing city pollution level, clogging of city roads and sewage system, accessing potable water and affordable housing. And many of these things have great challenges for us. Uh, however, I look at these as opportunities. And in this design intervention is important to find suitable solutions. In conclusion, I'd like to thank the organizers of IDF for bringing some of the best design minds together at this, uh, at this program and uh, hope all of you will bring forth the new design paradigm and the, uh, the collaboration with the rest of the world, uh, a partnership with the rest of the world so that the, as we move forward in India, we build in design, which is extremely important. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for that um, very, very, um, you know, um, uh, enlightening, thoughtful, and uh, um, talk. There's lots to take home um, listening to you. Um, I have. Um, to ask you of one other request. I would like you to present four awards for the visualizing marathon that happened last week. Um, may I now request Dr. Adam Bly of uh, Seed Media Group to please come on to the dais. Adam Bly is uh, one of our speakers and at the age of 16, he was a scientist, uh, stem cell research, and at the age of 30, he is now um, very accomplished, and he runs this um, um, uh, marathon called the Visualizing Marathon, where he travels to different parts of the world. Um, his team interacts with the students uh, through several universities in that particular country, and they gather together for a 48-hour non-stop session which he calls the marathon where he visualizes or forces um, encourages them to visualize 
important issues. I'd like um, um, uh, Adam to say a few words about it. Adam is also the vice chair for the Global um, Design um, Council of uh, Davos World Economic Forum, and he will soon become the chair. Adam would like to say a few words before we announce the winners of the Visualizing Marathon and request our minister to give away those prizes. Thank you, Rashi. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful partnership with the IDF. This is our seventh marathon of this sort. The genesis for it came about in, in 2010 with the recognition that we are now producing more data in the world than uh, ever before, more each year, in fact, than the combined sum of all prior human history. And it's data that's showing us new insights about health and energy and cities and development and markets and giving us the power to uncover uh, how we are connected, how issues are connected. And so we've brought this program to students around the world, um, together with GE and 70 universities, uh, dozens of NGOs, and, and this was the first time uh, bringing it here to India. Um, it was a wonderful uh, program, and, and seeing students from a uh, number of universities, design schools, uh, some of the IITs in India, come together and, and really tackle something that was of significance to them and to this country, which is the transition from communicable diseases and the burden of communicable diseases to non-communicable diseases and, and heart disease in particular. Um, and they worked in teams of three and four and, and really strived to uncover insights using data from the World Health Organization and then ultimately design, ultimately using design and the craft of design uh, coupled with computer science to surface new insights uh, on this pressing issue. So it's, it's our pleasure to uh, announce the winners today of this uh, first marathon, this first visualizing marathon in India. Um, <clears throat> the winners are Subramoy Haldar from SPA Delhi, Vishwaraj Nikum from SPA Delhi, Archana Singh from SPA Delhi, and Rakesh Baidya from NID. May I now request the Honorable Minister to present the awards to the young students. Can you take it to the Minister? Shubramoy Halda, Vishwaraj. Nikum, Archina Singh, and Rakesh Baidya. <clears throat> there were about 86 participants from all over the country, and it was uh, very difficult to actually judge their work. Uh, seed media had a very tough procedure for judging and they only decided at 11 p.m. last night. So it's a complete surprise to the students. Thank you, Adam. I'd like to um, say a big thank you for everyone who's made IDF possible. To Punj Lloyd, of course, our platinum sponsors, to AD, who were our associates, to Hindustan Times, and we were powered by Hindustan Times, and they literally um, gave us um, so much of their team time. I wish to thank um, their uh, chairperson, Mr. Shobna Bhatia, who is here with us. Thank you, Shobna. <clears throat> and some of their team members who are here as well. Um, they were always available to guide us. This is the first time uh, for IDF. And uh, without the wholehearted support um, from um, all our, um, uh, from HD, it would have been very difficult for us to have had the uh, media coverage that they so um, heartily rendered. We've got two very strong supporters, two institutions that we are very proud to be associated with, CII, as you know, and Foundation Alta Gama. Thank you, uh, Mr. Armando Branchini, for being here. As you know, Italy is what it is. 
uh, for its design. A large part of the Italian economy is based on design. And I hope that uh, we will have a created in India, made for the world label, uh, just like um, Italy has. Um, our um, partners, uh, hotel hospitality partners, Le Meridian, has been extremely supportive. The Starwood brand that um, is, um, you know, has Meridian as part of its um, um, stable. It has been very, very, very supportive from uh, the headquarters in New York. Many of their people are here today. I'd like to uh, acknowledge the presence of Jerome Sons and Michael Tidy, if they are here in the audience, and um, many of the others who are here. Thank you very much, and for the support of the local team at the Meridian at Delhi itself, have been at um, um, our beck and call all, all the time, morning, noon, and night, and they've made this possible. To Park Hotels, our entertainment partner, to Priya Paul, for her unstinted support for the various programs that Park has uh, so voluntarily um, uh, given us. To several of our other partners, um, I should uh, also mention NID, Dr. Pradyum Navyas. He's delayed, he's not here this morning, he'll be here later. Um, thank you for all the support that NID has given us. Thank you for sending a whole lot of your students to participate. And um, to several of our other partners, again, Jet Airways, um, to um, Titan Industries, to Atmosphere, Himat Singha Seed, to Jindal Steel, to Sitches, to um, Ultra, uh, Chetinad Cements, Nerolac, Gunjam, uh, who sponsored Lee Edelcott's session today, and um, several others. Our content partners have been uh, the Global Design Media, um, Frog, uh, IDEO, Surface Asia, Domus Academy, Wired, Design Boom, all of them are here, the editor-in-chiefs of all these magazines. This is, you can't get better than this. This is Global Design Media present right here today. Thank you all for coming here. <clears throat> To our design partners, I'm deeply indebted to Vivek Sani Design, who made all these wonderful things possible. Um, to our execution partners, Thought, um, Writing Instrument Partners, Car Partners, Tata Arya, um, Parker, Skarma, and Apollo, who's parked their very fabulously designed um, uh, ambulance here for 48 hours. <laughs> I don't think we'll need it, but they are here. So thank you once again for everything. Thank you, um, uh, Mr. Kamalnath, for taking time out uh, to be here. I know it's a working day right after Holi, but thank you for being here for uh, everything. And uh, I'd like to also mention the students. The first registration we had was 15 students from Indonesia. Thank you very much. And there is a team from Singapore, and there's teams, there are people from different parts of the world. Um, I'm very, very enthused to have you all here. You've flown, um, spent time and money to be here. And the reason when I asked them was they said that the kind of speakers that IDF has attracted to Delhi is uh, so uh, interesting and so powerful that if they were to travel all the way to Europe to attend a conference, they wouldn't get this pool of people all under one roof. So they decided to come to India. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so we begin the IDF 2012, the power of design. Thank you. <clears throat>